Hello everyone, welcome to a new video about algebra. Today we're going to talk about what is it good for? Why do we study algebra? And today with me, I have my daughter Julia. Hi Julia. Hi. How are you doing today? Very, very good. Very good, okay. So we're going to do today a video about, uh, about algebra. What is it good for? It's good to solve problems. So we're going to solve a problem together today um about pancakes julia what did you have for breakfast today pancakes <laughs> yes who who made these pancakes mommy are they are they good pancakes they were the best that mommy made in the whole wide world yeah very nice otherwise you would get in trouble mm -hmm. okay so uh yeah so we we're going to do a problem and it's about pancakes so here is the problem julia do you, do you want to read the problem Mommy made eight pancakes today. Mommy and Daddy ate the same number of pancakes. Julia ate one more pancake than Daddy. Now they ate two more pancakes than Julia. How many pancakes did Julia, Natalie, Mommy, and Daddy eat? Yeah, so this is the problem. Very good, Julia. Um, so what we're going to do is solve this problem. And what algebra does is to solve uh, complicated problems like this and make them easy to solve. So what we're going to do is find out how many pancakes did uh, Julia eat and how many did uh, Natalie eat and how many did mommy and daddy eat. And um, what we have to do is guess how many of those they ate. But instead of guessing, we're going to do algebra. What we know is that mommy and daddy ate the same number of pancakes, so that sounds like the mystery number. That's the variable. What are we going to call our variable, our mystery number? What should we call it, Julia? X. X, exactly. Okay, X. We're going to say daddy ate X pancakes and mommy ate X pancakes. Okay, and then the problem says that Julia ate one more pancake than daddy. So how many pancakes did Julia eat? Do you know, Julia? Or should we write it? You don't know? So it's one more than daddy, so we're going to call it x plus one. Okay, one more than daddy. And how about Natalie? Natalie ate two more than Julia, so she ate as many as Julia, so I'm going to write x plus one Blah. and two more plus two. Okay, so in total, these have to add up to eight pancakes. Okay, all right, so uh, what this tells us is that if I add all these numbers together, I should get eight. So let's try that out. I'm going to write uh, x plus x plus what Julia ate, x plus one, plus what Natalie ate, x plus one plus two, and that should be eight pancakes, okay? Julia, how many x's do you see in that equation? Uh, a lot more like... How many? I'm guessing... There is. Let, let's see how many. But there is one, one x. Two. Three. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll fix that later. So there are four x's, right? Yep. So there is four times x. I wish I was four years old. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just want to be fun. Okay. And then there is, uh, how, mu how much is this? So we have uh, one pancake plus one pancake plus two pancakes. How much is one plus one plus two? One plus one is, is two, and then I can use that other two to make four. So two and two. So this gives us a total of four. So this is plus four equals eight. All right, so we have the equation we arrived at is four X plus four equals eight. So do you, do you know what X would be? Yes. How much would X be? One. One, great, and how did you know that? <laughs> I told you. Well, we you guessed, but in the next video... I did not guess. You told me. I told you. Yes, I told you for the video. Okay, so in the next video, what we're going to do is learn 
how to find that x is 1. But in here, let's try. It turns out that x equals 1 works. Why? Because uh, 4 times 1 plus 4 is how much? How much is 4 times 1? 4 times four. 1 is 4. So this is 4 plus 4 equals, how much is 4 plus 4? 8. 8. So yes, x equals 1 works. Okay. And what does that say about our original equation? It says that uh, how many pancakes did daddy eat? X is 1. So daddy ate 1 pancake. Mommy ate X pancake. So she also ate 1 pancake. And Julia ate 1 plus 1 is 2, two pancakes. And Natalie ate 1 plus 1 plus 2. So how much is that? 1 plus 1 plus 2 is? 4. 4. So there you go. We solved the problem. Daddy ate 1 pancake. Mommy ate 1 pancake. Julia ate 2 pancakes. And Natalie ate 4 pancakes. Okay. So that's how you solve a problem. And that's why algebra is so useful. And that's why we learn it. Okay. So goodbye. And next time we'll start learning how to solve equations. Bye-bye. I'll, I'll be in the next video, I hope. Okay. Very good. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.